Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. We will discuss about cardiac poison that to Cerbera thevesia that is yellow oriander or commonly called Pila Kaneer in Hindi. We have already discussed about Digitalis purpurea, Neria motoromin our previous lectures. So go check out the playlist that is whole soul dedicated to the cardiac poison. Uh, look at this yellow oleander somewhat looks like this you must have seen them in temples as well it is used for worship purpose mostly it is believed that it is a mythological belief that this flower is loved by lord shiva here are some of the common properties or maybe some of the points that will be covered all the portion of this plant is poisonous be it leaf or the root the flower everything is poisonous then milky juice that is found in this plant this plant when you uh, simply pluck the flower of this plant you would see some of the white milky juice that are obtained from this flower so they are equally poisonous similar to like that of other portion or other parts of the plant now the common glycosides that are found in the plant are thevetin, thevotoxin, serberine along with peruvocyte then thevetin is commonly responsible for causing cardiac arrest so it is one of the major cardiac poison that is uh, found in this plant then thevotoxin is comparatively less toxin uh, when compared with that of the rest of the other glycoside it might no it might not show that harmful effect but again it is a glycoside somewhat similar to digitalis purpurea in action then if you want to know about the action of digitalis purpurea go and check out the lecture that i have made on the digitalis then the in this poison cerberine it somewhat acts like strychnine common sign and symptoms that are associated with this plant include inflammation that is caused by the sap that is obtained from the plant so as i have already told you in the beginning of the lecture that the entire portion of this plant is poisonous so how can we exclude sap sap is equally poisonous as well if ingested by mistake or willingly it will produce some of the burning sensation in the mouth along with tingling sensation in the tongue some dry throat vomiting diarrhea headache dizziness dilation of pupil i have already explained to you what is dilation of pupil and what is constriction of pupil in case this is the normal size of the pupil so this is a dilated pupil okay pupil will increase in the size more than the normal size of the pupil then muscular power could also be lost as it is a cardiac poison so definitely it will lead some or other effect on the pulse rate it increases the pulse causes some of the irregularity and uh, blood pressure would fall rapidly then heart blockage along with collapse and uh, death could also be observed due to periphery circulation failure then the fatal dose in case of seed it is 8 to 10 whereas root is 15 to 20 gram more than enough for causing death of the person and the period lasts from 2 to 3 hours now some of the treatment measures that are mentioned here include gastric lavage and molar solution of sodium lactate that is um, five percent glucose can also be given in order to combat acidiosis that is caused in the intestinal tract in the gastrointestinal tract now atropine that is one mg along with two ml of adrenaline in one is two thousand proportion and two mg of non-adrenaline what is the function of non-adrenaline uh, do write in the comment section okay then i will pin the correct answer then symptoms can be treated equally based on the symptom you can provide some or other treatment to the patient then some of the post-mortem findings that could be discussed here it is not very specific first of all you must know that there are numerous drugs there are numerous poisons whose post-mortem findings are not so specific git can be irritated and stomach and duodenum may be congested some fragments of the seed or other portion in case it is ingested can be found in the stomach in the gastrointestinal tract then visceral organs are mostly congested your visceral organs it can be your heart it can be liver kidney 
or stomach they are often congested so this is it for the day i hope you liked the lecture in next lecture we will discuss about nicotinia that is tobacco plant and i would suggest you to definitely subscribe the channel and do follow the playlist thank you so much